Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome to the box set. Yeah. Say hello to Brian Kanat. He's our new proprietor. And we're gonna get started. This is a fundraiser for the local Ford Music Fund. And um We've supported a lot of itinerant freelance musicians in Northeast Ohio since the plague began in a very, in a very meaningful way. And live music has been. Here's Brian, by the way. Put a face with the name. I'm not going to start again. But the Local Four Music Relief Fund has been supporting. Um, um, our world-class musical artists that call Northeast Ohio home since the plague began in April 2020 in meaningful ways of providing employment, wages and benefits, and also um, um, financial assistance that's, that's yeah. confidential. The numbers band yes. started the Music Relief Fund over a generation ago, and so we felt it was appropriate that they are the musicians that would f be featured in this annual fundraiser. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the Music Union. Thank you for supporting the Bob Stop. And now, buckle up and please welcome to the stage the Numbers Band. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to introduce this band at the beginning of it, rather than how I usually do it. And uh, we've never worked with these gentlemen before tonight. And so it should be interesting. And it will also be informal. I'm not a formal person. So I'm hoping things will be quite unraveled. Bill Watson on the bass. Clint Allgaier on drums. Mark Malvin, trombone. And what is that really? Flugel bomb. <laughs> Joe Miller on trumpet. My brother Jack on, you'll see, just about every guy down there. Terry Hine on alto, another family. And I'd like to take a moment and ask you something to do me a favor. I don't normally ask audiences to do anything. It's good enough that you showed. But I'm going to ask you to give a standing ovation to Ernie Krugda. So we're going to start off with a song some of you may be familiar with called Sucker Punk. Yeah. 
never mean, you 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 never mean. And I've got to come clean.
It's always a shame. It's always the same. It's always a shame. It's always the same. But these days, where do you put the blame these days? It's always the same, it's always a shame. But these days, where you put the blame these days? Where you gonna put the blame these days? Ah, yeah. It's nothing, it's nothing that a blind man couldn't see. Nothing that a blind man couldn't see. What stands between you and me? What lies between me and you? What are the lies between you and me? What lies between you? What are the lies between me and you? Well. It's just beneath the skin. It's just beneath the skin. Am I getting under your skin yet? Am I getting under your skin? Maybe a little bit yet? Yeah. We all become the same beneath the skin. We all become the same beneath the skin, beyond the skin, beneath, beyond the skin. We all become, and I need somewhere to go. And I need someone who knows me, who knows me. Not only on the outside, on the inside. Not Thank you very much. All right, gentlemen, take a break. Thank you so much. They'll be back up in a bit, either as a group or singularly. Skin. You know. 
don't need no money on a bunch of rolling. Kicking up red dust into the sky. Tearing up the highway and long gone really bye bye. From your face, we'll make a getaway clean and leave no trace. You see that humming bird, well, it won't stay long. Glance away, glance away, the song. I'm on the red stair. I'm on the red stair. Hike up your dress, high on your thigh. Use the keys to the highway, long, lay long. Gone, baby. Way bye bye. been a year or more. Please don't shut the door. I just want to talk to you. Then you can shut your fucking door. Of 
bumpy. A pint of the bumpy. You know the bumpy. You know the bumpy. Seagram's gin in the bumpy bottle. And a pack of what I am. Well, that would be cool. I'm going to rest it. I'm going to rest it.
the guts in the bucket get cold. So we're going to reach down into the gut bucket and do a gut bucket blues. Gentlemen, old time. Oh, wait a minute. There, there's just a touch, just a touch of trailer park.
very young man, I was walking up a rain. My favorite street in blue. Good old broken down Lorraine, that's the shit right there. And I'm walking up and there's a guy, an older gentleman who seemed older to me, he probably was about 38, playing a guitar and he's playing something like, you know, I don't know. And name one. <laughs> anyway, I said, I said, uh, do you know how to play any blues? And he stopped, and he looked up at me, and he looked into me, and he looked deeper into me, and he said, how could a matchbox sold your clothes? And I shook my head, and I said, oh man, I don't know how a matchbox he was an old blind man and he didn't see me. He said to me, he said, Ronnie! How did he know my name? You better go home and think about it. How could a matchbox hold your clothes? You better go home and think about it. So I went home and I thought about it. For 10 years! I thought about it for 10 years. How could a matchbox hold my clothes? Then it came to me. How a matchbox would hold my clothes. I had a, what do you call it? It starts with an E. A hangover. I had a hangover. And in this hang, Ezra Brooks starts with an E. You understand? No, I hope not. Have you ever had an Ezra Brooks hangover? I'll say prayers for you. And then this hangover came to me, how a matchbox could hold my clothes. Everything I own in a matchbox. All my clothes, I got a lot of fucking clothes. In a matchbox. My big screen TV, my unnecessary S you fucking me. In a matchbox. And it came to me how a matchbox could hold your clothes. But I was blacked out drunk, and I do not remember. <laughs> no, I remember.
trailer? Was it some goddamn TV show? You won't even hear the closing of the door. So sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. Will a matchbox hold my clothes? All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. up here for about 10 minutes and you may be, what's this? Everybody's past the shoe. Turn that mic up, will you Brian please? He's got just a nice voice. Give another round of applause to this incredible yeah. assembly. Yeah. And in particular, I want to point out Robert's vest tonight. You know, this is uh, this is the time that I get to talk and give the band a little break, and I have a short story. My eldest brother, Anthony, graduated from Garfield Heights High School yeah, yeah. in 1978, where the Krivda family and my family were families in that town. We were. We were Bulldogs. Now, my brother Anthony and all his friends did things that high school graduates do. They scattered across North to Northeast Ohio colleges, and in the fall of 78, classmates did what they did, and they went to visit each other at different campuses to check each other out. During their freshman year, one of the stops was at Kent State University, and when my brother came back at Thanksgiving, he brought me a bootleg cassette, and he said, I have this cassette, and you'd like the music. And on the cassette was, was, was the name Jimmy Bell. So I spent the next probably eight months trying to find out who Jimmy Bell was, where this cat is playing. And, and little did I know, later on, um, I discovered that it was not the name of a band, but it was a song by a band. And it's the numbers band. And, and I just remember listening that it was so familiar and so original all at the same time. And I think that's what we're listening to tonight and what makes them so endearing to me. Yeah. Set all that aside musically, another wonderful anecdote that I want to share with you is that... Man, it was about, it was about a generation ago, the band was playing in the flats and they got all their gear stolen. And the Northeast Ohio music community came out to support the band, played a concert, raised some money, and then in the circumstances of life, the band got all their gear back and they had all this money that they raised. And they donated it to the music union, local form. Right. With the caveat that they were to start with that money a relief fund for musicians who were in need, as, as you know, you know, uh, Local 4, and I'm, I'm honored to be the president of the music union in town, we try to support the world-class musical artists that are your friends and neighbors right here in Northeast Ohio, the ones that perform on this stage tonight, the ones that perform basically every night at the Bob Stop. And did I mention Brian is uh, running the Bob Stop? Right? Three cheers for Brian. And I think about these things when I think about our culture here in the Midwest, when I think of Northeast Ohio work ethic and who we are as character. And I really think this numbers band, Terry, Jack and Bob, Robert, 
Clint, Bill, really represent that for us. And, and I'm just, I'm thrilled that they're here again supporting the ecosystem that we have here. You know, and it's not just, it's not just venues like this. Cindy Barber's here from the Beachland Ballroom. Please give it up for Cindy, who does just as much work for the ecosystem that we all do. We pick each other up when we're down. We help each other out when we can. And that's what tonight's about. That's what you're about. I think I'm about six minutes in. How am I Robert asked me to, well, first of all, to thank you for your donations at the door, but also he said, remind them about the fucking donations. So that's what I'm going to do right now, is that this is a fundraiser for the Local for Relief Fund. And um, I'll, I'll basically say this just in terms of numbers, since April of 2020, when the plague began, um, the, the music fund, with, with, a, with help from local and national philanthropic entities, uh, probably donated over a quarter million dollars to itinerant musical freelance professionals in Northeast Ohio, either in wages and benefits for performances, but also just in financial, confidential assistance to uh, you know, our, our, our artists in need. Because we were the first ones out, and we're the last ones that are coming back in. And it's not just the musicians, it's actors, it's dancers, it's any part of our industry that requires an assembly of people to come together. And so I want to thank all of you again for coming out and doing that. Please go to shows here. Please go to shows at the Beachland. Please support Sean at the Happy Dog. Please support live music and local artists. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. My brother's gonna do it. My brother's over on the keyboard over there. He's going to do a song about the sad, tragic, beautiful city of New Orleans. Waiting, uh, waiting, uh, 
lifetime oh, to me. She looked at me and she said, Just a lie. I can tell you're just barely getting by. I said, I 
as long as I still stand under the sun and can see myself stretch out on the ground I will place these hands into a living sky and remain And I will remain unchained. Tell it. Amen. Ooh, yeah. But restless. <laughs> Streak of light. 
I'm gone. Out across the night. So you better look fast. I got some money to spend. I got some wheels to spend. You want Set me straight. Just set it on the side with a little bit of water. you go by. I know it's not rocket candy. <laughs> you just want to know why. You want to know why? Well, you know. All those young men, they say, they say you're wound too tight. She's wound. They, say, they say she's wound too tight. And I say, I think you've gotten them all frightened. I think you're bottled up lightning. Wake me up like a crack of thunder. <laughs> Off the cuff or on the slide. Any way or another. Give me just one go. Give me just one
Somebody step up.
whirling around, whirling around that worrying wheel. I've been whirling around, 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 wh
Kita Kodian. Oh, people are going to be walking up.